what is this? I'm not sure that Arby's Adventures. And today we're playing Cupid. I'm really hoping I can finish this game because it's really making me uncomfortable because the topics of abuse, sexual abuse, um, all these types of topics really make me uncomfortable. So if it doesn't end in the next three episodes, I'm probably going to stop playing it for a while because just. Why is this happening? I don't know. I don't even know who I am anymore. Cass, you're scaring me. Tell me what's wrong. So is she only thinking, not talking? Would you still want to marry me? Would you still love me if you knew? I wouldn't. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. But I think I know who I am now. I'm a selfish, depraved bitch. I've always been the controlling, jealous lover to you. And just one night in this drunken frenzy, I went and took advantage of the two people I care for the most. Not enough wine to justify this. I... I wanted to call off the engagement. At first, Catherine saw Gillian treated it as a joke, but the panic in his eyes set in immediately. What? I said I'm calling off the engagement. Uh, I refuse. You don't have a choice. I'm leaving tomorrow. No. Not until you tell me what's wrong. Gillian's eyes didn't flinch. These were the looks he gave her what, that melted her heart. They were so sure and steadfast of their care. They were just fighting this morning. A fight she had started as usual. Yet there was no doubt in his eyes at all. If she were to see the certainty fade away from his eyes, she knew it would break her. Is this about the fight earlier? Because, Kath, I swear to you, I haven't done anything. No, stop! Hearing him reinstate his devotion just made it more painful. Tears pooled in her eyes and fell in huge, ugly globs. She had been doing so well. She thought she could just hold it in until she left. She wiped the tears where she could, but more kept pouring out. It, it isn't about that. Then what is it? What do you want me to do? Whatever it is, I shall do it. This was so hard. Why did it have to be so hard? Why did she even ha go there? I, I just missed a bit. She wondered what it would be like for a cheater to go back to the arms of her lover. But it changed somehow. Did she still love him? How could she even tell? All her emotions wrapped her in a thick layer of guilt. It was hard to distinguish every painful thought. She started to sob now. Yes, indeed. Ugly, unflattering snorts came out of her nose. <laughs> it felt comforting to hold on to the guilt. Its existence made the hatred towards herself bite less. Kath, please tell me what's bothering you. I'll be right back. Sorry for pausing for so long. Just, things are really rough. Kath, please tell me what's bothering you. Uh, I don't deserve you. I'm a horrible person. You ought to find someone else to marry. Catherine let the words tumble out of her mouth, slightly relieved to be rid of them. She looked tearfully up at Gillian to gauge his reaction, but he just started to stare back blankly. Why wouldn't he say anything? Catherine sobbed, fearing the worst. Gillian cleared his throat and spoke hesitantly. Um, could you repeat that? He kept his hand to his ear and angled it closer to her face. He apparently hadn't caught any of her heartfelt words. Catherine snarled angrily at him. You idiot! I'm having a breakdown here. But I don't understand what you said. I said you ought to find someone else because I am a horrible person. Catherine pulled her... Gillian pulled her to him. Oh, is that it? Whatever made you think that I'll accept that reason? Catherine's tears soaked in his shirt. You don't know what I've done. Then tell me. You'll hate me, I guarantee it. Did you punch a baby? No. 
The inside joke made her laugh out of the blue. She buried her face in, in his chest in a half sob, half laugh. Suddenly her doubts were cleared. Suddenly she didn't want to marry anyone else. Gil Catherine's arms tightened around Gillian's waist. I've been taking you for granted, haven't I? I've been arrogant, expecting you to always adjust to me and my whims. A new fever sprung out of her love for him. I don't deserve you right now, but I'll work on that. If you'll give me another chance. At first, she would tell him what she had done. Then it would be for up to him to, if he still wanted her. He deserved that decision. What if I did? But Gillian stopped her with a kiss on her forehead. Tomorrow. After a hearty breakfast and a good night's rest, I'll listen to what you have to say. Then I'm quite sure my answer will be the same. Catherine's face melted into a smile, and, she, and he beamed at her. My star finally smiles. Catherine ra whipped her eye, wiped her eyes. I love you so much. She sighed with a content part of her anxiety put the rest. I do, I really do. She whispered that last one under her breath, as if trying to console herself. Gillian? Yes, dear. I don't want to read this. Why do you love me so much? Gilly amused for a while. Is that a trick question? It feels like a trick question. Catherine whined. Alright, I shall humor you for now, because you're in such a pathetic state. I love you because simply because it's easy to love you, darling. You're my star, my light. You keep me right, always. You make me want to do good by you. To be a better person. You aren't even my wife yet, but the townspeople are already calling you their lady. I may have to hand you the Marquisism myself. And it's only because everyone in town knows who I am. Oh. I wonder why that is. It's because you helped sell vegetables in the marketplace on weekends? Or because you conspire with my cooks to hold impromptu picnics for the locals? You know about that? Why can only sneak out that much food but one can only sneak out that much food without getting noticed madame it amuses me how the servants free cover for you upon inquiry as well it was my idea they're not to blame I know darling I know Gillian chuckled and kissed her temple it goes to show how your presence uplifts everyone's lives including mine but honestly those reasons aren't exactly why. I love you, Kath. I just do. Beyond what I thought was capable of. Catherine's heart cracked with his last utterance. If I did something bad, would you still love me? Yes, I would. Are you sure? I'm sure. What if I've hurt an innocent person? What if I've hurt you? She bit her lip. What if I was unfaithful? Gillian stared at her questioningly. Catherine buried her face in his chest. She felt his hand smooth away her hair. He whispered gently in her ear, If you would have me, come back to me. Sure. What happened doesn't matter at all. You are not, you are not your mistake, Kath. Gillian cleared his throat. Suddenly he had 